The history of Sakai fish farm is very long. They started breeding Nishikigoi in the mountains in Hiroshima about 120 years ago. They introduced a scientific breeding style earlier than other breeders. And since that time, they have been making steady efforts to breed high-grade Nishikigoi. The fifth head, Mr. Kentaro Sakai, is a charismatic leader and has firmly established his position in the Nishikigoi industry. The Sakai Fish Farm won the Grand Champion Prize at the All Japan Combined Nishikigoi Show in 2000 for the first time and has been awarded the Grand Champion Prize nine times in total until 2017. S Legend, the Grand Champion of the 2017 All Japan Combined Show, was reputed to be the most beautiful Kohaku in recent years. Unfortunately, I remember almost nothing about S. Legend when she was one year old. Mr. Shirasaka bought S. Legend when she was two years old. Honestly, I didn't have any idea that she would become better, because her color was light, and her head seemed big compared to her thin body. But she grew rapidly, from 60 to 74 centimeters when she was three years old. And I came to realize that she had something different from others. After that, she kept growing and came to have great dignity. Yes, sometimes I've had that experience. The grand champion Kohaku of Mr. Chan Chung at the 46th All Japan Koi Show is another good example. Mr. Chung bought this Kohaku at our spring auction when she was one year old. Actually, she was not so expensive, but she grew bigger and bigger and came to stand out. Honestly, I never thought that she would become a grand champion at the All Japan Koi Show. Yes, that's true. It is very difficult, I think. I can predict the future to some extent, but not 100%. All of them are important, but I think the most important is the bloodline, especially the combination of the bloodline of the parents. If the combination of the bloodlines of male and female pair is not good, their offspring cannot grow enough, or they lose luster, even if you feed them high-quality food. Hi. Yes, I think so. They can grow better if they are bred in good conditions and with high-quality food. The female Oyagoi is Neo Universe, and the male Oyagoi is the offspring of Tomahawk. It is because they are distantly related species. Neo Universe is the rose bloodline, and Tomahawk is the Donguri bloodline, Benihana bloodline, and they don't have strong blood connections. This is why I chose them as the parents. Yes, I think the quality of Beni of S Legend is very similar to that of Neo Universe, her female Oyagoi.
Honestly, I had absolute confidence I would win the grand champion prize at the ZNA International Koi Show, but I didn't have that confidence at the All Japan Koi Show. Thank you, but I think her condition at the ZNA International Koi Show was the best. Yes, I'm honored to have beaten our rivals at the Grand Champion by 50 votes to zero. It was the first time for the Grand Champion to get a perfect score at the ZNA show. So, as the breeder of S Legend, I was really happy to hear this score. I think she is superior in growth. At only seven years old, she was already 97 centimeters long. Actually, 97 centimeters long at seven years old is the new record, the biggest koi I've ever bred in Sakai fish farm. Moreover, she has a great potential to continue to grow. So my target now is to enter fully matured S legend in the 2019 All Japan Koi Show, the 50th Memorial Show in Tokyo. Sakai Fish Farm is one of the top breeders of Kohaku and Sanke, and their breeding and finishing technique is praised as top class in the Nishikigoi industry. The parent koi are grouped with each bloodline. They try to find the best pair of parent koi to produce much larger and much more beautiful nishikigoi. Their breeding facilities are also outstanding. There are more than 200 ponds in the greenhouse, including the champion house which was newly built in 2016. They also have 80 mud ponds for tategoi covering an area of 225,760 square meters. Their water cleaning facility has the ability to purify and sterilize 600 tons of river water per day. And about 24 million fries are bred per year. It is not too much to say that Sakai Fish Farm is the best Nishikigoi breeder in Japan or rather in the world. Our breeding is always controlled based on the data. For example, when we feed our koi, we measure the weight of all the koi and change the feeding amount based on it. Large koi are measured one by one in 100 gram units. For example, if there are 10 koi over 80 centimeters long and their average weight is 10 kilograms, their total weight is 100 kilograms. We can calculate the accurate amount of feeding based on this weight. The maximum feeding amount in our fish farm is 1% of their body weight. In our breeding farm, in the middle of August, we start feeding the fish the maximum amount of food and, after the end of September, we reduce the feeding amount gradually and control feeding to get the koi in their best condition for the shows, which normally start in autumn. Yes, it's really hard, but we know koi cannot grow well without our special care. If we raise koi with much great care, they will be much more beautiful and excellent. Yes, I think so. If I am very busy doing other work and don't care so much about koi, their finished condition is not good enough. If I pay much attention to them before the show, they can be in their best condition at the show. If we give the koi a great deal of attention, we can know the koi's condition and the water condition at the same time. For example, the shiroji of S legend 
had not become white about one month before the show, so I thought the water quality was not adequate for her, and decided to move her into another pond. Then, her shiroji improved quickly, and also her gloss and luster increased dramatically. If we do not provide daily care and do not always give the koi attention, we cannot find out the best environment for them. Unfortunately, I cannot take care of all the koi, so I take special care of the show koi. I mainly manage their condition, how to feed them and how to get them to show condition. Yes, I found it by myself, but it's difficult to explain, because honestly, keeping koi requires natural ability to notice, like a sixth sense. I can notice a problem to be solved even when other people think it might not be a problem. Yes, I can find a problem and take concrete measures to solve it when I see the water condition, such as, it's better to move the koi to another pond. The highest grade koi for me is koi which have the three factors of beauty, which are a beautiful pattern, good proportion, and good quality. In this case, if I had to choose among all former grand champions from our fish farm, my favorite koi are S legend and M legend. I think they are the greatest koi I've ever bred. That is very unfortunate, but she spawned only one time. She spawned for the first year, and she never spawned after that. If Neo Universe had offspring every year, we could have the highest class koi like S Legend every year. It is difficult to say a concrete percentage. To take an example, we had a female koi named Yamato who won the champion title. I chose Yamato and one male koi in our farm to be a pair. Their offspring grew without any problem until they were two years old, but as they got older, their growth rate decreased. I thought this pair might not be matched well, so I changed to another male. Then their offspring grew bigger and bigger. Considering this, I came to think the male oyagoi was the key to producing better koi. Even if the quality of the female oyagoi is good, if the male doesn't match her, their offspring cannot be better, but rather grow worse. I am very sure that the excellent koi all originated from the good combination of their parents. The potential of the male oyagoi is more important, especially the bloodline with growth potential. I think nothing is more important than the male oyagoi's bloodline for large growth. Offspring will never grow well if the male oyagoi is from a bloodline of little growth, even if he himself has a good pattern and good body proportion. So, when I look for and buy male koi from other breeders, I check the information on their bloodline, especially to know whether that bloodline can produce koi who can grow big. Our plan is to breed the champion koi every year. No, that's not what I mean. I want the koi with the three factors of beauty, a beautiful pattern, good proportion, and good quality, even if she does not exceed one meter.
No, I don't care about that. I focus on the three factors of beauty rather than size. As you know, the jumbo koi with a bad pattern cannot be the champion at a show, no matter how much she exceeds one meter in length. So, I think the koi with these three factors and a size over 90 centimeters meet the requirements to be a champion. Yes, we focus only on breeding Kohaku and Sanke. Mr. Sakai also pays a lot of attention to the food. While using carefully selected food, which is commercially available, we have also developed our own original brand food for breeding more beautiful and exceptional Nishikigoi. Sakai Fish Farm has continuously achieved good results with their wide variety of foods for all sizes of Nishikigoi, for various purposes depending on the season. High quality food is indispensable for breeding high quality Nishikigoi. Mr. Kentaro Sakai has always shown great dedication to breeding exceptional Nishikigoi. All of our foods are manufactured by Kyorin. This is because Kyorin can perfectly meet our various requests. We often make requests to Kyorin, please make this kind of food, please improve this point, etc. And Kyorin is certain to provide the food which completely satisfies our needs. So, we use only food provided by Kyorin. Sure. First, this is Sakai color mash, the food for the fry that have just hatched out. We feed the fries a color-enhancing food which contains spirulina. After the first fry selection, we feed them Sakai number two and number three. They are also our original foods manufactured by Kyorin. This is a wheat germ based food without color enhancing capacity. We use it as the finishing food for the koi show. This is Sakai Super Growth Food. This is a special formulation for growth without spirulina. Kyorin also created this food especially for us. Yes, N20 is a high protein and high fat food. Kyorin developed this food in response to our request for help in making the koi grow large. First, we asked Kyorin to make mash food for us, and they provided the perfect food, exactly what we were looking for. I thought Kyorin could manufacture our desired food. That's why I decided to ask Kyorin to make for us not only mash food, but also the whole range of our original foods. Yes, of course. Food is very important to bring out the koi's full potential. Even if a koi comes from good quality parents, she cannot grow large without high quality food. In particular, I put a high priority on the palatability. If the food has higher palatability, koi are willing to eat it. But if not, koi really don't want to eat it. So I always ask Kyorin to make food with superior palatability. And they always provide the food with superior palatability. Sakai wheat germ growth food is a low-protein food. We decide which food to use based on the water temperature. Normally, we use Sakai wheat germ growth food when the water temperature is about 22 degrees centigrade, while Sakai super growth food is used in higher water temperature, above 24 degrees centigrade.
We feed one year old koi only Sakai super growth food and Sakai color enhancing growth food during winter season. And we feed the koi in the mud ponds Sakai super growth food and Sakai color enhancing growth food in a proportion of one to one when the water temperature goes up around June. Sakai color enhancing growth food is a growth food but contains spirulina. I believe this food is probably the first food which has both growth efficiency and color enhancing capacity. This is a special food which I planned and then asked Kyorin to realize that request. I asked Kyorin to come up with a food that is not only highly nutritious, but also highly palatable. So our food contains many selected ingredients to improve palatability. The smell is especially very good. Honestly, I can tell by the smell whether or not the food quality is good. I think that food with a strong smell is not such good quality. But Kyorin food smells good. It's like cookies. It smells like cookies baking in the oven. In June or July, we mainly feed the koi in the mud ponds, Sakai color enhancing growth food and Sakai super growth food. Then, at the end of September, we gradually change to N20, a wheat germ based food to promote shiroji. Yes, sure, two months is enough time for them to develop their shiroji. I think both the pond environment and the food are important. For example, 30 large koi in 100 ton ponds will not grow bigger, even if they are fed enough. As you know, that's too many fish. A proper number of koi in the pond and high-quality food should help to make high-quality koi if they have champion potential. Yes, sure. That's why our koi have been able to win the grand champion prize at so many shows. I believe the current food varieties are best for us. I am really satisfied with them, so I have no additional request. Yes, we've received some requests from overseas dealers and hobbyists. So, we export our food to several overseas countries. It's very good. We've heard that their koi grow large and the color is enhanced. The best thing is that the koi are eager to eat the food. I'm really happy with them. I'm 120% satisfied. I have no more requests at present. It's the perfect food. Yes, we will use only our original food made by Kyorin and Kyorin's original food. Basically, I'm very satisfied with the current varieties, but if I had a say, a food to promote sumi, black color, would be great. It would be great if we had a food that had a noticeable effect on the dull black color of the koi. Yes, that's the point. Sumi can be greatly affected by the pond environment and the bloodline. 
So, that's why we want a food that can help to enhance the black color even just a little. Yes, I use Saki Hikari Mash and Saki Hikari R Balance, which are recently developed foods. I normally feed them to the koi in the mud ponds in early spring. In cooler water temperature, I mainly feed them Saki Hikari Balance without color enhancing efficiency. It depends on the purpose. If we want the koi to become large, even in the winter period, we feed them our Sakai super growth food and Sakai color enhancing growth food. But if the koi don't need to grow so much in winter, we normally feed them Saki Hikari Balance, a much healthier food. Sakai Fish Farm will continue to work hard to grow excellent koi.